what's going on guys your boy Trickster here aka Sean and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make cool AVs without using magic bullet look I actually don't even use magic bullet look myself because for some reason every time I try to get it to work it just doesn't work so I just I've honestly stopped trying to get magic bullet look so yeah all my stuff is without magic bullet look um all you really need for this tutorial is a stock and some particles well, the particle's not really necessary, but like it just adds a nice little effect to the backing. Uh, the uh, stack I'm going to be using today is this one. And particle, you can't really see it because it's transparent in the back. But yeah, let's get started. Alright, so, first off, you want to just grab your stock and you just want to drag it into the PSD that you're working with. And uh, if you guys want to have these color corrections that I have in here, I will leave this PSD in the description below so you can just snag it up and uh, take the color corrections out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just probably resize it a bit. Probably get it like right there, maybe. Clip mask it. And just find a nice little spot for it, I think. I guess right there would be fine. Just a tutorial. And, uh, after you want to do that, uh, after that, you just want to hold Alt and click on the stock on like the layer side, and you want to just bring it under where it's over the render. So it just duplicates it like that, and you just want to create a clip mask. After that, you want to go into the layer style of the render. You want to put satin on it. Probably lower it to about four, maybe. Yeah, four looks fine. I'm just gonna put it around. That yeah, looks good, maybe a little darker. Yeah, that looks fine right there. Uh, if you wanna add inner glow, you can. It's not always necessary, but if you just wanna have the little outlines in the back to kind of just pop out a little bit more, yeah, just put on an overlay. You see how it just kind of brightens the uh, the back part of the logo. Hit OK. After, we, after you do that, you're going to want to go to your layer styles on the 2D part of the logo. You do the same thing, you want to add satin to it. Lower it to about 4 maybe. It looks fine. I'm going to drop it down to 15. Add some inner glow to it. Make it white. Make it not too thick, but you know, it's thick enough. That's right there, it looks fine. You wanna overlay it. Hit OK. Now once you do that, once geez, I can't talk. <laughs> once have once you've done that though, you wanna highlight these two layers and uh you wanna control jet so you can duplicate it. And we go to the layer styles of the 2D part that you just duplicated. You wanna remove the satin and just increase the size of the uh, inner glow. You see how bright it's looking. Then you can merge down the stock to the duplicated layer. So it's just all one layer. After that, you want to go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And uh, I keep it around 45 because that's just where I use it. 45.6, 45, just somewhere around there should be good. And um, you can kind of tweak with the uh, the fill and the opacity. And uh, you do want to set the screen to. I'm just gonna lower the fill, the opacity just a little bit. After that, you're gonna wanna go and add your particles. So let's just go in here, add a load, and just kinda you can place the particles anywhere you want. I'm just gonna add two. Once you've done that, what you're gonna want to do is group all. Actually, I kind of clicked it wrong. You want to shift click all of this. You want to control G it, then control J to duplicate the group. And you just want to merge this group. So it's just like you know one image. Uh, I recommend keeping a group 
um, with like you know the original problems because if you see something after you merge it and you see there's like oh there's a problem with this you know maybe you somehow spelled the guy's name wrong or you know you kind of want to do something a little bit different or use a different stock or whatever you can you know go back and change it and remerge everything and uh yeah after that what you want to do is you want to con control J the merge group you want to go to filter other and high pass I set mine to 5.1 that's why you should keep it then go to overlay and I usually put it around 15 and that's pretty much how I make my ABs you know something simple nothing too complicated they look really nice and uh yeah if you guys have any uh, other tutorial ideas, you know, leave them in the comments. I'll try to see what I can do about them. Other than that, guys, it's been about it, and I'm out. Peace.